Hey guys, Humans for Targets here, and I just wanted to make a little video uh, showing here how the safe action system and the three safeties work on a Glock. I see a lot of videos out there people make, and there's a lot of misconceptions on how the uh, Glock safe action system works, and uh, I just wanted to kind of straighten that out, and just, you know, anybody that hasn't, that doesn't know, uh, let them see it too. Okay, so first I'll start off by showing you no rounds in magazine, no rounds in the chamber, gun's clear. Okay, as most of you all know, this right here is the trigger safety. Now that's, that's only the beginning, that's only the start. But right there is the trigger safety. The trigger cannot be depressed unless this little lever is pushed in. Okay, but there's a much more complex system inside than what meets the eye right here. Okay, so let me break this gun down and show you the other two safeties that are in this gun. Okay, I'm going to check the chamber again. No rounds in chamber. Point in a safe direction. Pull the trigger. Then field strip. Okay. This is your second safety. Hope I'm getting good light here. Um... Did you see this right here? This little plunger right there. Keep that in mind. When you pull the trigger, this right here is part of the trigger bar. When you pull the trigger, this little tab right here pushes upward and pushes this firing pin block striker block out of the way I should call it on Glocks it's called a striker not a firing pin it lifts this and pushes this out of the way Let's see if I get a close up there that permits the uh, the striker to come forward otherwise it's blocked the third safety on the safe action system is where the uh, back of the striker meets with the back of the trigger bar. See the cruciform back here? Right here is your, uh, your connector on the side here. By the way, you won't always want to put a drop of oil right in between here and this, uh, where this connector meets, um, as per the manual. See how this uh, back of the... Now this is still part of the trigger bar. This part here this part here runs all the way up. This tab is part of it, right here. And it goes all the way down to the trigger. It's connected. See the back of this here? There's a little lip right there. See that little lip right there? Well, that's your drop safety. This right here is the back of the striker. This is part of the striker. This piece I got the tool on. This right here is the rearmost part of your striker. This edge rides below this lip. That's your drop safety. As the trigger's pulled, you release this lever, you press this lever, which allows the trigger to move inward. This rises up, pushes the plunger underneath the slide, which, which unblocks the path of the striker. And right after that happens, as you pull the trigger, this tilts downward. This slip right here tilts downward, allowing the back of the striker to ride up over and release the, and release the striker igniting the primer. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a message. But I just wanted to clear that up and give some people a basic idea of the three safeties in a Glock. Most people pick these up and say, well, here's your trigger safety, and they have no clue <laughs> as to where the other two are. So just trying to get this information out there. It may help some people that don't know or are newer to guns. All right, everyone. Humans for targets, and I'm out.